Hello YouTube, Flamin1188 here. Today I'm going to be dueling against Magical Merchant. Uh, I haven't dueled him in a while. Uh, I forget what what kind of deck it is. So, let's find out. I'm going to be using my safe deck, of course. Because it's one of my main decks that I go with. My other one would be Synchro Warriors. My version of it, at least. Alright, so uh, my safe deck is Spell Absorbing Exodia Field. And wow, I opened up with Upstart Royal Magic and the Field Spells. That's that's really nice. Start with the Royal Magical. Then I activate Magical Citadel. Which gives him a spell counter. Then I'll use Upstart. Which will give both of them a spell counter. And... Oh, well, that's not too great. Um, that kind of sucks. All right, well, he'll probably destroy Royal Magical. Then the two counters from it will go on to the field spell, and then I can Moss Reborn it, and then I can get a draw. Draw one card, and uh, at least I'll have a Moss Defense at that point. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Goes with Birdman, and now it's my turn. Try and finish this duel as quickly as I can. Dark Factory. All right, I'll play Master Reborn. Now hopefully I can draw something good here. Now looks like doing it that way. Looks like this. So I'll take three counters from it and draw a card. Oh, sweet. Oh, my God, that's great. Okay, Hand Destruction. I'll discard the two normal monsters I have in my hand. And I can draw two. All right, I drew another Royal. I'm going to go for another Royal. And then I'm going to activate Upstart, which will give the original one two counters. Oh, and I drew Toon Table. <laughs> okay, great. Great. All right. Um, But eventually I'm going to get to the point where I'm not going to have a hard to add because Toon Hell is already in the grave. But, that's okay. So I'll use Toon Table. I'll add another Toon Table to my hand. And then I'll draw a card using the one with three counters. And then I'll use another Toon Table. And now the other one has three, and I'll use it to draw a card. And no more tune tables for this game. Alright, another magical settle. Yeah, I guess I'll play it because the other one I already used its effect, and once per turn I can only use its counters to activate Royal Magical's effect. So I'll just get rid of it, put a new one out, which also gives me spell counters. Um. I'll play Dark Factory. Add back those two normal monsters I discarded at the beginning of this turn. Which is a great combo. Hand Destruction, Dark Factory on uh, two normal monsters. Because it just... It's great. Especially if you got the Royal Magicals out. You just draw cards. And that creates spell cards. I mean, it's just, it's just great for this deck. It really is. Oh, and there's Spell Absorption. So, there we go. That's good. So now every time I activate a spell card, I'll gain 500. Oh, but I, I did take some damage before. I forgot about that. So i got to kind of earn back that life point. So I want to activate that Ancient Leaf. Um, let's go space to the phone. All right, I can set this tune table, because I don't even care about it anymore. And then MST it. And it gives me spell counters and life points, which is very good in this deck. Right, so now I can use... This guy's effect using the fields counters. Draw a card. Oh, another spell <laughs> Okay, cool. I'll activate it. Now I get three more spell counters and uh, 500 life points. But now every time I activate a spell counter, I'll get 1,000 life points. So I'll activate this one's effect. Draw a card. Alright, there's another piece of Exodia. Um, I was thinking about saving this for next turn when he attacks, but I'll just activate it now. And use it on his monster, just for the heck of it. I, I just want the spell counters, I don't really care. Uh, and there's a thousand more life points for me. If I could just 
Okay, if I could just draw a spell card, I can activate right now. That'd be great. Because I can just use ink. Alright, sweet. Oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, that's great. I'll activate it. Now everything gets a spell counter. I get a thousand life points, and I can activate Ancient Leaf now. And did I already use his? Yeah, I already used the field spells effect. All right, Ancient Leaf, and everything switches to defense too, which is just great. And there's another thousand life points in case I draw another Ancient Leaf. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the original ones effect again once again. I do Card Trader. All right, I'm gonna activate. Another magical citadel. So now if I draw a terraforming, it's useless. I guess I'll use it for a summoner monk if it comes to that. Hopefully I can draw the last piece of Exodia before that. I only need two more out of sixteen, so that's pretty good. Uh, and I do if I draw an ancient leaf right now, that'd be really good because I have over nine thousand life points. Oh, but I'm gonna get duality. But I activated Moss Reborn this turn, so I can't Well that looks like the end of my turn. Uh hopefully he does not get rid of my level limit, and hopefully I can win next turn. It's looking pretty good. Um, I think right now I'm going with the undefeated record with this deck. It's like something like 8-0, something like that. It's good. I love this deck. I invented it, by the way. Fine. All right, he's going to bring back Cobalt. For he has a tuner. He's going to pull out Caius. Oh, and he can destroy any card. He's going to use it to destroy... Level, yep, level limit, smart. Okay, oh, well, not destroy, but banish. Or, I think in this term, it's uh, move from play. Spanish is a Zexel term, and this game is 5Ds, which I cannot wait for a Zexel game. I'm going to use Card Trader and return the uh, Terraforming, because it's useless to me. And hopefully draw something better. Yes! Okay, okay, so one more piece of Exodia. Watch me pod duality the last piece of Exodia. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Come on. Yep, okay, there you go, game. <laughs> Whoa, right arm of Exodia. If anybody has a right arm of Exodia in real life, please let me know, because uh, that's the only piece I need. And that's game. I think I did pretty well there. I could have just kept going on and on, which sometimes I like to do, because uh, I was actually facing this one guy on DN, and he was getting annoyed at my Exodia deck. Like, I know you get annoyed of him, but he, obviously I wasn't going to end my turn. He kept asking me if I was going to end my turn, and I was like, no, no, no. And he just kept asking me. It was annoying. It was annoying. Um, so, yeah, I, I went, and I just kept going on and on with my turn, even though I had already won the duel, just to mess with the guy. I, I really didn't like going up against that guy. And then he was asking me for help, and I was like, no, I'm not going to help you, dick. <laughs>